In this video, I'm going to show you the top five ways to speed up your Amazon Fire Stick. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybody Helps. I really hope you enjoy this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk where related blog posts is also available. If your Amazon Fire Stick has started to slow down recently, or if it's just not running as it should, then here are some quick and easy ways to get it back up to speed and running like new. The first thing we'll check is that you're running the latest software version. And to do that, we need to go over to our settings on your Fire Stick, which you can reach by scrolling across the top here and choosing settings. Then go across to My Fire Stick, About, and down to check for updates. You can then check the version on the right hand side and it'll say when it was last checked and if it needs an update. It's definitely worth running the latest versions, especially if your stick is a year or so old and you've not known that you've needed to update it before. You can also set up automatic updates for your apps, so they're always running the latest versions, which you can do under your settings, applications, and then down to App Store. And in here we have the automatic updates, which you can switch to on if it's not already, to save you remembering to do this in the future. And updates is the first way to help speed up your Amazon Fire Stick. Next, you'll want to check the available storage on your device. So on the settings menu, if we head over to My Fire TV, and about, and then to storage, you'll see the internal storage available here on the right. Now, if you've been installing a lot of apps, you may find that your storage is nearly at capacity. So it's definitely worth checking in here. And if there's anything that's certainly close to around one gigabyte remaining, you'll definitely find it that's slowing down. So you can either increase your storage or alternatively going back to our settings and over to applications, you'll find the option for manage installed applications. Then you can go through all your apps in here see how much space is being taken up and you can uninstall and remove any that you're not currently using. And this will then clear up some space on your device. Now, similar to a computer or your iPhone, for example, you'll also have apps running in the background that could be slowing you up. And these can be found and shut down using an app. So if we search using the magnifying glass and the app we're looking for is background app and processes list. So if we select that from the results, click onto it and download and install and then open. And then this will basically identify all the apps that are running in the background. So you can go ahead, click onto these and then select force stop. But don't worry, these won't actually delete or uninstall them from your device. It'll simply just shut them down. Now it doesn't actually confirm once you force shut, but you will find that they're no longer appearing from the list. Or alternatively, you can choose to close all apps on the top left-hand side of the screen if you're not currently using any. Then if you want to download any third-party apps onto your Fire Stick, you'll need to have an app called Downloader to do this. But to authorize these apps, you'll also need to adjust a setting and jailbreak your Amazon device, which I'll show you now. So under Settings, Go to My Fire TV and Developer Options. Then you'll want to make sure you have ADB bugging and apps from unknown sources set to on. This is so that you can download any of these third party apps. Now, you may be interested to hear that you can also virus check your Fire Stick for the likes of viruses, malwares, and Trojans. So, we're going to download a third party app now. So, if we open Downloader, And if we enter the address www.everybithelps.co.uk forward slash downloads and click on to go. Then whilst we're in here, if we click onto the three horizontal lines or the burger icon in the top right, 
To save you having to type these addresses in again and again, you can add current page to favorites, which will then show under favorites on the left. But going back to our download, on this screen, we're looking for virus total. And then if we scroll down, it will then start downloading automatically. So if you click on to install and install again, and then click on to done or open. And then as you can see in the bottom right, it's ready to launch. And it's saying we can click onto the settings button on your remote control to open it. And that looks like three horizontal lines. And now we wanna go ahead and scan. Now you may find that it comes up with a warning message about Google Play services are needed, but you can ignore that as it'll work fine. So just go ahead and click onto okay. And then we get our reports. And if there's anything in here that's like a red X, you'll obviously need to remove it and it'll remove anything harmful from your device. But as you can see, everything is all good in green here. Then finally, we'll just check out some of the extra settings to check as there's a few different options in here. So over under settings and preferences. And then if we go down to privacy settings, in here we have device usage data. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is set to off as this is them using your personal data. And there's also collect app usage data, which we want turned off. There's also interest-based ads in here in case you wanna switch that off or on, and that's down to your own personal preference. Then under preferences again, data monitoring, you might also want to have this switched off so that your data consumption isn't monitored either. Now, one last thing is that when you're in the home screen, you'll sometimes find that there's often previews of movies or TV shows which automatically run. And you can switch these off under your settings, preferences, Go down to Featured Content. And from here, you can switch off your video and audio autoplays. So they were just a few ways that you can speed up your Amazon Fire Stick and hopefully improve its performance. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website, at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.